when I work tutorial hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be telling you about when I work and how you can use it to manage your employees and track time so having said that let's just jump into the video now first things first what we're gonna do over here is we're gonna go ahead and sign up now before I sign up there is a pricing plan so let me just show you about it so over here as you can see these are the three plans so we can start a free trial on all of these but as you can see over here we have the three plans we have the essential the advanced and the complete there is no free plan you can go with a free trial so in the essential ones you what you will get is shift os which is i think their operating system standard scheduling you will get time attendance on demand pay as well and you will get confidence shifting time clock and schedule integrations time managing and all in one place offers benefits to your team once so as you can see it's pretty nice then we have the advanced one which is going to be six dollars per user per month uh in here you get shift os standard scheduling advanced scheduling right and uh, no time attendance or on-demand pay which is weird because you get that over there you don't don't get advanced scheduling in the essential one but uh yeah and then you have more powerful scheduling share labors across uh, multiple locations implement in one day not month high employee adoption and integrations so yeah and then you also have standard scheduling as well which is like two dollars per user per month and over here you get some more features so uh, first we're gonna go over here and then we'll go ahead and show you all the features then we have the complete package which is the eight dollars per user in this one you get everything you get the shift os standard scheduling advanced scheduling time and attendance and on-demand pay top rated tools and experience engaging staff with flexible scheduling control your labor budget with ease api first and security focus so as you can see we have everything in the complete package so in the standard one over here we get all of that so let's go ahead and see some of the features so in the standard one we can add up to 50 users three administrations in the essential one we can add 200 users with up to three administrators and in advanced we can add unlimited and three and then complete also unlimited and up to three administrators we get almost all of the you know features like team messaging availability management time off management workplace dashboard document storage sms and push notification and multi-factor authentication basically if i'm seeing we get all of the features over here like except for this one like advanced scheduling we don't get advanced scheduling over here in the standard and the essential and in the standard one we also don't get time attendance and this one is also not available within the uh within the advanced one which is weird usually that doesn't happen and then on demand pay by claire that is only available within the you know essential and complete so it's weird so depending upon what you want you can go ahead and choose these plans but it all depends on you so for now i think we're gonna go ahead and get the complete version since it is a free trial so i'm going to go ahead and sign up and i'll catch you guys in a second okay so the sign up process is very simple just add in your first name email address your phone number industry company and number of employees and you should be good to go so again i'm going to go ahead and sign up and i'll catch you guys in a second all right so as you can see they're now creating our account and we should be good to go all right so once you have signed up once you set up your password this is how it's going to look like over here you're going to set your positions then you have your employees and schedule right so first we have positions so over here select the scheduling position so we have sales delivery manager and create a position as well so we can create other positions so over here let's go ahead and see voiceover is over here so we'll create that all right there we go and then we'll create another one as well we'll just say vo cutter right and then we'll say editor as, as well yeah maybe even a script writer as well and then we also have a manager as well so we'll create that and then we also want a project manager as well and then we have yeah i think that's good and then we should be good to go then we just simply click on next we enter in and now over here we enter in the names and you know the emails of our staff and we should be good to go so for this one i am going to be using a temporary email address over here you know just to show you guys how it looks like all right so this is the email i'll copy that 
and I'll paste that over here. There we go. Same thing over here. We can add like a name. I'm going to say James. And then over here, we add in the, you know, positions. We'll say manager. And then over here, we'll say this is a voiceover artist. Yeah. Then we can add other aim as well. James DeFranco. I don't even know how to say it. I'll just say James. James, James. Yeah, that, that works. All right. Another temporary mail. I'll add that as well. And this one as well. This one, June, June. She's also a voiceover artist. And then over here, we'll say Leslie Smiles. Leslie Smiles. There we go. And over here, we'll say he is the voiceover cutter or whatever. We'll just say he is the editor. There we go. Then we can add more employees as we go. But for now, I think this looks good. And then we'll just simply click on continue. All right. So now we set up a schedule for our work time, right? So when does your week start? So for some people, it's Sunday, but I'm going to keep it Monday. So now it's going to be from 9 to 6, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. There we go. Position. This is for the, you know, manager. He comes early. I'm going to. This is for the manager. He comes early and goes late. So 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Yep. And then we have the regular timing for the other employees. 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. We'll just say this is for voiceover artists. And then for other ones, we can add as we go again, 9 a.m. to 9 to 5. Over here, we'll say this is for the uh, for the editors as well. And then we'll just simply click on next. And once you've done that, we should be good to go. And here is how it looks like. This is going to be your dashboard, right? So over here, as you can see, this is how it looks like. You're going to have your calendar over here. You will have over here on the left side, you have shifts, you have forecast tools, you have positions, tags, you have job sites and task list and all of that. And then over here at the dashboard, you have your dashboard over here. As you can see, this is how it looks like. That was the scheduling scheduler. Sorry, this is the dashboard over here. You add employees, you create a shift and then you publish your schedule, right? So let's go ahead and create a shift. So over here on uh you know custom over here for this is for the first name here we go so over here for james we're gonna create one on monday and then we're gonna do that for on tuesday as well there we go i think that looks good there we go that's nine to five and then over here we create the shifts again we add that as well and also you can go ahead and edit this as well like if you click on this pencil icon you can edit it you can add like tags shifts list as well shift notes you can add like a timer unpaid break over here you can add that we'll just add like an hour all right or maybe like 60 minutes or maybe even 30 minutes if that's what they like maybe 40 let's go with 40 yeah and then you can add like a time off or time on and then you can you know you can repeat this shift over here by every week and just simply click on save and publish and it should be published over here. So actually, let me go. There we go. Yeah. Right. And then I'm going to go ahead and add that as well onto every single week. And basically, this is how we're creating a, you know, shift. And then for June as well, we can add that, uh, you know, over here. OK, so you get the, you know, gist of it. Right. So basically, we create shifts over here now uh, I just want to create another one over here as you can see create a shift and we should be good to go I just want to create another one for this one and for that one we'll click on this button and over here create a custom shift so we'll do that and over here assign it to this person a time will be also 9 to 7 actually if this will be a little bit later from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, unpaid breaks will be of 60 minutes maybe no of 40 minutes and the position will be going over to the editors there we go and then over here we create a shift task a task list All right so let's go ahead and do that click over here shift task or team tasks we'll go with the team task no we'll go with the shift task click over here We'll go with editors. We'll say edit the recorded uh, videos. There we go. And then we'll click on add that. All right here we go. We have that uh, you know task. And then we'll click on shifts. And then we'll move on finish setup. 
there we go now we just select the task list over here we don't have any tags and we can add like shift notes and whatever so every single week here we go we'll say it's ending on saturday and click on save and publish and then we'll just simply add that over here we'll add it to the lists there we go so once that's done you should be good to go and then all you have to do is just simply publish and notify so that every single person that you have added over here gets notified on their emails they'll get their scheduling and tasks and all of that they, and you should be good to go then we come back over here onto the dashboard and we can see we have a bunch of different stuff right so we can see we have these many hours scheduled so right and these many hours projected not i mean they aren't recorded yet but yeah but in order to you know record that we'll go over here onto attendance and over here in attendance people can add their start date and date as well so let's go ahead and add like an start date over here we'll go with this one and end date will be over here yeah and then over here confirm your period we'll just say weekly every two weeks yeah payday is going to be every two weeks and we're going to say computer and then employees must be near location to clock in or clock out um yeah we'll just say we'll not check that box and then we'll just simply click on continue and then offer on demand pay employees and then we just simply click on finish and then we have our attendance done now what will happen is whenever someone wants to come over here they'll just say you know employees will come over here and you know they'll add they'll add their end dates over here let's say i was in at you know uh 9 a.m there we go and then let's say i was out at 9 p.m there we go so as you can see 12 hours and i will say manager over here as you can see i am the manager and then we can say the default or stuff like that same goes with everyone else they just come over here they add in their time all right they also have their schedule as well but if you want to create that it all depends on you and then you just simply click on approve all right as you can see approved and then you can click on show shifts and hide shifts it all depends on you and then we have work chat and over here we have like a personal chatting you know software where we can chat with all of our teams so you know tell them how what's going on how's it looking you know is there any problem like we can talk with our team and everything over here so basically those were all the basic stuff right like you have your scheduler you have your attendance and then you have your worksheet and in attendance we also have our timesheet and time tracker as well so as you can see this was the timesheet right then if we go over here onto the time tracker we can see all of the time tracker tools so over here shift and progress shift schedule completed right so it's going to load up over here and let me just show you all right so as you can see over here this is how it looks like and currently i don't think anything is going on over here but basically over here this is where you see it right so on the staff button you click on this button show filter and employees so over here you will see it you click over here you can edit the details and stuff like that and over here you click over here onto the double click and you simply click on create so over here as you can see we have our time we clocked in at let's say you know uh 9 30 and we clocked out at 6 20 p.m right and then we'll just say the position was you know for the project manager and we'll just simply click on save and then we will have our time over here so as you can see completed and we can say like you know shifts are in progress we can say you know clocked out we'll just remove that and then we'll just say um voiceover artist and click on create so as you can see this one is still in progress this one has been created uh, you know completed and if you wanted to for example like take a lunch break then just i would say and then you should be good to go so over here you will see all of your time tracked by people over here and you can click on the calendar and it will show us you the calendar and everything so pretty simple nothing too complicated as well so these were all the things that you needed to know about now there are some more stuff as well like you get go over here you will see like your inbox you will you can request time off you can time off requests over here you will see all of them you will have shift requests and open shift request over here then you have your shop over here for employees positions you have your tags schedule job titles you have your reports task and all of that and then you have your general settings over here and then you have your profile settings over here so it's pretty simple pretty cool so 
that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video uh if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye